Hey everybody, it's Billy from DCC. Once again, it's December the 4th, it's Monday. We're celebrating Advent by tracing the theme of clothing throughout the scriptures and seeing how uh, oftentimes it just points us straight towards Jesus. Our scripture today comes from Genesis 27, verse 15. It says this, Then Rebekah took the best garments of Esau, her older son, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son. Now, when Isaac was kind of approaching the end of his life, his eyesight is gone. He decided to bless his oldest son, Esau. But as Esau went out to hunt in the, in the field to uh, provide his father's favorite meal, his mother and his younger brother had very different plans. Now, if you know the story, it's kind of easy to read the story of Jacob and Esau and see Jacob as the good guy and Esau as the bad guy. But this is just simply not the case. See, the plan includes uh, a meal for his father, prepared by his mother, dressing in his older brother's clothes. The real scandal of the whole story is actually that God allows it to work. Jacob boldly just walks into the tent dressed in his brother's clothes and steals a blessing from his father. Now, as unfair as that story sounds, and, and it really is, it pales in comparison to the story that it foreshadows, the story of every Christian life. See, the truth is you and I do the same thing with God. We come before him as sinners who deserve nothing but judgment, but because we are dressed in the righteousness of our older brother, Jesus, we receive grace and blessing. Know this, we're not fooling God. No, he not only allows this to happen, but he is the one that orchestrated it from the foundation of the world. God has colluded with himself to declare sinners like us holy and blessed for the sake of Jesus. See, the gospel is the good and scandalous news that all the undeserving younger siblings get what only the older brother deserves. It sounds strange. But that's how the gospel works. Happy Advent. Let's pray a little bit more. Heavenly Father, we uh, thank you. We thank you for your plan of salvation, which, which clothes us in the righteousness of our older brother and grants us the blessing that you pour out on us for his sake. In Jesus' name, amen. See you tomorrow.